It's a beautiful Sunday morning up here in Suyo, in the Cordillera Mountains, in the Locos Sur. And you know, I love Sundays because on Sundays, Master takes us out. We go planting a lot, we go to mountains, we trek different mountains, and today, look at where Master took us, this beautiful waterfall. So Master, do you do this intentionally? Yeah, it's a part of our way of life because you see, you work hard for a few days. You need to reward yourself, your mind, your emotions, your body would be gifted something. So it looks like you are not always working like an animal or horse. We have to work like human beings with dignity and integrity that just get rewarded when we do something great. So I think it's a gift of life to go rural or to go to a, a scenery like this, a waterfalls, to get the oxygen and the prana and the chi and these negative ions that revitalize our health. So it has to be part of our lives. Okay, and Ma Master, you often talk about the balance of life. Uh, how does all of this help balance our lives? Because in Manila, Master, people also go out and enjoy on Sundays, but they go to the mall, yeah. eat out in restaurants. I think we should take a break from the commercial life so that we reboot ourselves to feel like we are human beings that are not just city beings. Mm -hmm. There's a certain energy of the rural area like this that gives you revitalization, uh, renewal, and this negative ions that circulate when you have a waterfalls on the mountain area really gives you that energy which heals. Mm -hmm. So people need healing every week because we are immersed in a very toxic environment. Not only stress, pollution, the noise, the uh, energy of people. We need to extract ourselves and renew every week so that we don't have to go down the hill in our health before we awaken to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. We need to be responsible for our health, not just the doctor. And this is part of our obligation to bring uh, revitalization, refurbishing of energy weekly. It's not like oh, when you're almost dying of disease, like the doctor says take a retreat or uh, rest or sabbatical. That's too late, the organs are damaged. So we, uh, lo we look forward for longevity, how to live longer, not just how to feel well, not just wellness and well-being. That to me is good. But it is greater to talk about how to live longer and how to maintain the longevity that we can prolong our lives and enjoy the harvest of our um, uh, labor, our harvest of our uh, work and success. And what you're talking about, Master, requires a certain balance in life, right? How do you achieve that balance? That balance we are talking about is not just a work and family life. That's not complete. We have five areas of life we need to satisfy to be totally fulfilled and balanced. We have our family life, our work and career life, we have our health life, we have our spiritual life and our social life and contribution to society. These are the five areas of life that we need to satisfy to claim that we are really balanced. It's not just work and family. We can be happy in the family and having a successful work life, but if your health is diminished to a level where you are at risk and a life-threatening disease comes in, you will not enjoy both the family and the work. But if you don't have also the spiritual life which will inspire us to do more meaningful purpose, then it's not still complete. And if we do not contribute to society, our social life is just partying, uh, having a, a good time, it's not enough. As you evolve in life, you advance uh, soul uh, type, we need to contribute to life and be significant. Mm -hmm. So in the next episodes, we're going to talk in depth about those five key areas of life. But for now, since we are here talking about how great life is, uh, Master, we you talk about all the negative ions, and this is all free, guys, compared to when you, I, I came from Manila. I was going to the mall, spending a lot every Sunday, but this is all free. And we have it here in Ilocos Sur, right, Master? Yes, this is a good place because there's not too many people. If you go to Pagsanghan, if you go to Caliraya Lake and all these good places, the problem is there's so many people that you are just there to take pictures yes. and then leave or have a picnic. Here, you can meditate. You can do many techniques to absorb the energy from this place. For example, you can put your left hand over the right like this and put on your navel. You can stand like this or you can do like that or you sit 
in a normal position on a chair or a stone and you focus here you activate this navel by focusing on it you breathe with closed eyes your mind is focused on the navel breathing slowly and relax you do that for a few minutes at least five minutes you're already centered feeling revitalized and power goes to you this is called the fire in the belly this is the real energy to prolong your life in this environment is maximum to do breathing to bring it here that's why yogis they always do this and a lot of zen monks they always practice the navel breathing it does center your consciousness not to be too emotional not to be mental not to be controlling but just be that centeredness of performance that allows you to be spontaneous to uh, grow your instincts to know what to do in the right time without thinking too much or emoting too much so this is one of a great example that you need to have this kind of place to be able to reju rejuvenate yourself maximum energy and not only energy that is typical of the environment clean energy that does have the sun the ground prana the air prana and the negative ions caused by waterfalls when it strikes it creates like a negative ionization of the place and this breeze is not from the wind is from like a fountain effect which creates air into ions negative ions positive ions are those that when you have a thunderstorm or before it rains this congestion that you feel that like you have headache you feel uh, nauseated these are not good for your healing it's called positive ions the negative ions are the one that refreshes you after the rain and thunderstorm that refreshing energy is called negative ions it does fill up your power and the aura gets revitalized so one of the techniques left over right go to your navel poke, uh, poke your navel like this and do concentration for a few minutes if you do this every day for five minutes even in your home in a clean part of the house you will get revitalized every day and when you are tired it's hard to sleep it's hard to focus you need to revitalize your navel because this is called the fire in the belly which rejuvenates you to have a longer life so you do not just aim to feel good today you need to be planning how to live longer and not only feeling good today it's called longevity and of course you have many other techniques which we can teach like breathing like this like that you will ionize your nervous system your turbinites in the nose those are like a turbine effect you know the air turns into negative ions and you can absorb it into your nerves and into your lungs and to your bloodstream these are simple techniques you can do without having to attend many difficult seminars in yoga or meditation or martial arts they are simple that's why i put them in my books and they are really useful for any age and you don't have to have a special equipment you see yeah and you know guys these techniques really work especially the navel breathing i start my day every morning with navel breathing for around 20 minutes and throughout the day i do that also same with the synchronized breathing and master also say right when we walk on earth uh, we take off our shoes yes and can you explain the connection to the earth okay when you walk through the soil there's an energy here that does connect to the earth like roots made of energy and light so when you have weak legs when you're sexually impotent or have infertility or all kinds of sexual congestion that does not allow to flow your life force you need to step on the ground barefooted you can stop even you know stomp your feet so that you connect to the earth the earth energy is four times denser than the air prana so if you are doing pranayama and yoga breathing you absorb the air energy to your lungs and to your blood and to your chakras or energy centers but the feet is the one that roots you to the earth which is the one that connects you to the earth prana the earth prana is denser so you will have your muscle tones your bones and your 
sexual energy and your guts energy and your bones and muscles energy these are the ones that needs the ground prana your lungs your blood needs the air prana the sun of course the vitamin d3 you need it to convert other uh, chemicals and vitamins to your assimilation process and of course a lot of these are free yes, why free. do we always buy vitamin d3 yeah. tablets why not go to the sun why not go to the earth why not drink water that is solarized structured water or why not do a lot of inhalations to fill up your lungs saturate your blood with oxygen so that you rejuvenate and remove these free radicals these are simple things but most people forget that you can heal yourself for free yeah. Thank you so much, Master. So there we have it, three techniques which Master you learned from Master today, all free, guys, out in nature, right? So we do the navel breathing, we do the synchronized breathing, and go barefoot, barefoot in the ground. And look at us, we're strong, we're healthy. Or you can drink solarized water, solarized structured water. water. Like this is mineral water, it's clean, you can drink that one. I'm not telling that you have to drink it, it's I drink it. Or you have fresh vegetables from the environment, indigenous yeah. of the place and of the season, vegetables, yeah. seasonal. Yeah. And they have rich energy that is absorbed from the sun, from the earth in a natural environment. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as commercial hydroponic gardens. It's not the same as planted in a commercial environment with insecticides. These are endemic of the place. So they have natural devils and angelic substance yeah. that is absorbed from the place. And I think uh, fresh air, fresh water, uh, earth connection, uh, you, you have uh, fresh food, and I think you should have functionality also. Functionality. You right. need to be functional. If everyone will do everything for you, like carrying your bag, they have to carry all the time or assist you all the time, yeah. you feel like you're old. Correct. You need to be functionally capable of doing things like even uh, carrying your luggage, uh, I would say gardening, anything that you can touch, it gives you the functional feeling that you are not old. Yes, functionality is very, very important because I know what Max is talking about. When I was in Manila, I always had assistance, but here I learned to leave, you know, do things for myself and it's made me much stronger. Yeah, and, and yeah. you should not age with disease you should have a healthy longevity a healthy aging and extended useful life like i'm a very senior citizen now but i don't feel senior i may be senior <laughs> but i feel like I, I i'm still a midlife i'm not even feeling 65 but uh, I think that feeling that you should be functional, you should be with young people so that you can not grow old and get fixated with your old habits. You should have the youthful life extended. Yeah. Because you see children and youth, they're always yeah. happy, giggling, yeah. and people are, as they grow old and richer, they're more pouting, and there's no more internal fire to be happy. They're depleted on the navel, yeah. the hearts are closed, their minds are getting old, and the soul is not growing, and the body definitely will grow old. So, hit for longevity, guys. Okay, so there we have it from Master. So, let's all hit for longevity. Remember, go out, go out into nature, and more importantly, why don't you guys come visit us? Come join us in these great adventures and start living your greatest life. And those who are really rich, do not have a second home in another city or suburban. You need to plan B. Get yourself a house, a ranch, a place like this, and have a vacation that doesn't have to go to Thailand or Bali or uh, Hawaii. You have to have your own vacation that you don't have to spend much money so you can relax. You can be relaxing in a beach in Hawaii, but spending, your mind is still thinking that, oh my God, this is an expensive vacation. It's another stress when you start to pay your credit card. Plan B, guys. You need a rural setting which stimulates your spirit, awaken your soul, uh, clarify your mind, boost your vitality, and also heal your emotions. This is life we deserve, called fulfillment.
Okay, so thank you very much, Master. So we're all gonna go out there now and enjoy. And again, sure. once again, come visit us in MDP Village. Good. Live your greatest life. Thank you, Rory. Thank you, Master. Beautiful. Oh.